With the last eight weeks of in-person school canceled, the main project for my video production class is a personal diary of how COVID-19 affected us. I think many of us had lots of time to think about our society and the world in which we live. I've been reflecting about my ancestors. My mom's parents escaped from the Armenian Genocide. They found asylum in Brazil before finding their way to the U.S. My father's mother bore five children, then lost her husband. She raised the kids on her own in the heart of the Great Depression. My dad, a Marine, survived Pearl Harbor. Both my parents have passed, but I wonder what advice they might offer. My mom leaned to the worried side, but she would have stayed positive. My dad might say something like, we only get so many heartbeats in this life, son. They don't stop counting just because you're in quarantine. Use your time wisely. Here's what I've been doing during the break from school. Perhaps I spent some of it wisely. I changed my exercise routine to cycling. Early in the pandemic, I interviewed two businessmen. First was my farrier, Sean McRoberts. The second is Gary Anich of Aunt May's Sweet Tooth, a newly opened downtown business candy store. Here are their early impressions. Sean McRoberts, I'm a farrier. It hasn't done a whole lot of effect to my business. Some of the people, they're nervous about me coming to their place and I just tell them if you're nervous, then stay in the house. But actually, sometimes it's easier to do my work without them there. I think it's gonna blow over. I think every couple of years we have another disease that comes along and this is the latest one. I mean, I think it is a serious thing, but I think people are overreacting to it. I think the financial impact will be a problem for a lot of horse owners because especially right now, there's a lot of people that are not working and a lot of my customers actually work in the oil fields and oil prices are low right now. On top of the coronavirus, we got a lot of things going against us right now, and I think that's gonna hurt the horse industry all the way around. For most people, the horses are a luxury, and when, when you get short on money, you gotta cut something out. I think there's so many people not working right now. If this does go on very long, we're gonna have problems. The overall impact on my personal life, it's kind of up in the air right now because if it goes on very long and people start getting short money and, and stop getting their horses done, it's gonna hurt me because this is my sole living. If I can't get out here making a living, it's gonna be hard on me because, I mean, I can't make no money. <laughs> uh, it's cut it. We don't have the walk-in business that we have. I mean, we've been here very short time. We were pretty happy the way things took off. And then all of a sudden, all this came on upon us over the weekend and everything really cut more than half, maybe about a third of what we normally had in here. And today, I guess we'll close down a little early. So no, it's, it's not helping us at all. Meanwhile, as the weeks went by, my wife and I tried to keep to our routine and I found a few more things to video.
it looks like they'll lift many of the restrictions soon. We're all looking forward to getting back to normal again. Many of us wonder what the new normal will look like. Somehow, I get the feeling it's going to look even better than before.